You don't always uh, check off everything on your daily to-do list, but with a little help, maybe you can. Bethany Crouch is in studio to fill us in on how to manage our time better and get all those things finished. Yes, so joining us in studio now, we have Lisa Montanaro. You are a, produ a productivity consultant and a success coach. So first, explain to everybody at home what that is exactly. Okay, sure. So basically, a productivity consultant will help people to better manage their time, to get their tasks and to-dos done, and to really figure out what their goals and priorities are for both professional and personal and help them achieve them. So we help boost people's productivity so that they could do whatever they want. That could be work more or less. <laughs> so giving them the tools that they need in order to have a more successful life. Correct. So um, tonight you have an event that's going on, a, a mixer, and then you're actually going to be speaking over at Seasons 52 at Arden Fair Mall, helping people to manage their time. So let's go ahead and start. What can we do? I mean, you, you know, we typically hear, make a to-do list. And sometimes <laughs> that can be daunting, and sometimes to-do lists don't always get done. Agreed. So what happens with to-do lists is for a lot of people, they're actually overwhelming because the whole concept of it is to pull it out of your head so that you don't have all this mental clutter yeah. and to get it down either on paper or in an electronic format. But then they have this long list and it can be extremely overwhelming. Yes, it can. I know from experience. So what should we do differently? So the first thing you want to do is actually separate your master project list from your daily to-do list. If you have just one long list, it can be extremely overwhelming and you can't do all that in one day. Right. So so primarily you should actually separate out things that you could do in one day, maybe three to five items only. And then what you do with those three to five items is you either add a time element to them, so actually add them up. So sometimes the best time managers are great mathematicians. So they actually say, can this be done in one day? Like, will this take four hours or 40 hours? And then if you want to go to the next level, you actually book those items on your calendar as appointments. See, I think that that's where I've been going astray all these years is I make the master list, but I don't calendar it into my, my schedule. So, you know, you just look at it and you say, oh, I need to cross that off, but right. you don't know how much time it's actually going to take. You do not know how much time it's going to take. And if you actually put it in your calendar as an appointment with a start time and an end time, and then you add them all up in a day, you'll be able to see very quickly, you'll get a visual snapshot. Can I actually do these today? And if not, you'll move them to a different day. Is yeah. this realistic? Can I get this accomplished? So <laughs> I know that you're going to be speaking tonight at Seasons 52, a great opportunity to experience that new restaurant over at Arden, Arden Fair Mall, <laughs> loving that spot. Um, so just to give you some details here, uh, the mixer starts at 5.30. Lisa is actually going to be speaking at 6.30. It goes until 7.30. Uh, $25 gets you in, and it's going to be a really interesting um, and educational event. Thank you so much for coming in, Lisa. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. It's well, been my pleasure. We'll definitely look forward to having Lisa on again soon. Okay, Paul, back over to you. I'm encouraged and intimidated all at once. Thanks very much, ladies. Uh, 945 Fox.